Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is part two of this video. We're trying to reproduce this badge. And I said in the first video, the hardest part is gonna be able to, is gonna be the eagle getting to that shape. I found, you know, if you just I searched police badge clip art and I had a couple of eagles that looked pretty good and they traced pretty good. I did a little bit of work on it. I've still got a little work to do on it, but for the video, it's, it's plenty good. And we're just going to draw this. So now we need to get that shape. In the first video, we made the shape of the badge. So now we need to make the shape of this part. I am going to take the three-point curve line, and I'm going to go from about that point to that point and make a little bit of a contour. Now I'm going to grab that node and go from there to there. Now on this one, if I hold down the control button, I get a more symmetrical curve and then make sure you get on that node there. And we're going to just put a node right there, put the curve right there. And remember in the first video, I said uh, this way we can get rid of the badge and move it out of the way because of that. So now we have our shape. So we need to make our shape. I know the inside of the badge isn't going to leak. I do not know about the other part, but it didn't. So I'm going to nudge that out of the way twice. I'm going to left click, right click. And now I'm going to take our eagle and it doesn't work perfectly with the envelope tool, but we're going to go to effects and envelope. Click on right here to create a shape form. And we got the eagle right there. Now, like I said, it's not perfect but we can move it up and it's really probably good enough, but we want to take up a little bit more room and it really messed up my Eagle. So let's, let's back up here, see what we're doing. Let's, uh, so you can see the part I drew. So I'm going to take away the outline. Yeah, there we go. Now I'll go back to the envelope tool and open that and click on that shape. That much looks a lot better. Now I'm going to bring the, the eagle into it. And that would probably be good enough, but we want to take up a little bit more of that room. We can actually grab this envelope tool now and see it's, it's, it made the shape, but it's not utilizing the whole thing. So we're going to grab those two nodes and just kind of bring them down. And you can see I'm, I'm making the eagle take up more of the room outside the envelope, but it'd be good enough for this. And I'm going to call that good. Now, we'll get rid of the envelope shape by just hitting delete. And we'll nudge this over twice. And when you nudge, you're a lot better off. Because now we're right back to where we need to be in the, in the police or the eagle's pretty close. Now I'm going to nudge this back. And I'm, we're going to draw this part. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to back up here. And I'm going to make this line red. I'm going to get rid of the envelope docker. And I'm going to turn that line red just so we can see it better. I'm going to nudge that back. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this part the curvature of the police, but I find it's a lot easier just to use the three point curve line and go from about there to about there. And then definitely hold down the control button because you get a, a perfect arch and then go from about there to there, holding down the control button and get a perfect arch. Now we can, and if you remember this way, we can select that badge easier and we have those two shapes. Now let's zoom in a little bit and let's take a two point line and let's snap to, if you have snap to object on, it'll snap to it. So we made that shape that easy. We can always go back and add the police, but um, that might be another video. So now, well, what did I do with my badge? I'm gonna hit F4. I must have deleted it, so let's back up here till it reappears. There we go. I must have hit delete. So let's just back up here, take a two-point line, and go from that node to that node. 
Make sure you get on the node so it'll be perfect. Now, if you were really perfect, you could take that in the center and flip it over, but for this, it's good enough. Now let's bring our badge. Well, I'll tell you what, let's make those lines red so we can see them. I just right click. Now we need to make these little curly Q parts of like a banner. And I'm gonna use the three point curve line again. And I'm gonna go from that node on that other branch and then curve it down a little bit. Go from that node to that one, curve it in a little bit. Go from that one to that one, curve it in a little bit. Make sure you get on the node so it'll be sealed. And there you have it. Now there's two ways you can look at this. And that's why I made that little box because it's so much easier. Now let's grab that and control D and make a duplicate of it. And mirror it. Well, I didn't control D it evidently. And then mirror it. And we have the exact same thing on the opposite side, holding down the control button and put it over there. See, and that's my, my thing is not perfect, but this thing doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just gonna join that flag right there with that node. They're not touching, so we need to take the shape tool and grab that node and just place it up on that line. Let's make sure other one's touching, and it is. So we're good to go with that. Now we'll do, we'll nudge it. Let's go ahead and make these red so we can see them better. Let's nudge the police badge back over and let's draw that ellipse. Normally you hold down the control button with an ellipse, but this time we're not going to. So get about that ellipse size and then bring that up and, and um, that's probably good enough for the video. We could squish it up a little bit. Now let's take the badge away and that's what we have and it looks pretty good. This line is a, a basically a shape. So we're gonna go and double click on it and make it a little bit thicker. I always work in points, he's working in inches. So I'm gonna change it to points and make it one point. I'm gonna scale it with objects so it'll always be the same size. When we make this badge bigger or smaller, let's make it like three points. That looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and put the word police in there. So what we can do now is take the smart field tool and fill that in, nudge it over twice, left click, right click, and type out the word police in capital letters. Be, happy, be nice if you could spell. Let's make it a, a bolder font. Sometimes you have to click off your font to make it bolder. They're using a completely different font. Let's try Times New Romans. So I'm just gonna start typing out Times New Roman and hit enter. Make it bold, no, it's already bold. So you're gonna to need to go and look for a perfect match if you want it perfect. That's gonna fit, I think. We're gonna make it just a little bit smaller. What I like to do, I'm gonna take the shape tool and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna break the line apart. Select that, break it apart, and hit the line apart. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow me to, to cut these. I really should have, because I just want that arch. So let's take the shape tool and select both those, right click, break it apart, and now we can take away these lines because I just want the path for the text to be on. <clears throat> now I want to take the word police. Might be a little bit big. We'll make it a little bit smaller because it's it's not gonna actually fit on that line. So let's go text, fit text to path and put that, well, that's gonna look pretty good. We'd want it off that line. So now what we can do is we can actually go to object, let's select it all, go to object and break the text apart, grab the word police and text it over twice or nudge it over twice. That looks really good. If it didn't work, you could always back up and, and redo that line. All right, we've done that part. Now let's make these uh, circles in the center. 
pretty easy. Let's take our ellipse tool holding down the, the control button so it'll be a perfect ellipse. It's a little bit hard to see, but there's our cross here. We need to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and make it somewhat bigger. I'm going to try something. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then holding down the control button, move it down. So our, our badge isn't exactly in the center. I'm going to change my nudge factor, and just remember your nudge factor is 10. I'm going to take, first of all, I'm going to make this red so we can maybe see it, see it more. And I'm just going to slightly nudge it over. That looks good. Now, I'm going to control D and make a duplicate, holding down the shift key, make that circle grow from the inside, and that way at least those two circles are perfect. And we're good to go. Let's move that out of the way. Remember, I hit, so I'm going to nut, go backwards because I need to set my nudge factor back on 10 inches. Grab that badge, and there we have it. Now, uh, this part and this part is going to be easier to draw. So we're going to do this outline now, this part of the badge that's an outline. And then I'll stop the video and <clears throat> go from there. So what we need to do now is take just our outline and move it out of the way. And it's not going to hurt to have an outline around the whole thing. So we're going to go to Effects, Contour. We're going to contour to the inside one time in black. That's a little bit much. Let's back up. Let's go 0.35. That looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and break the contour apart, even though we need both of them and nudge them back over. Now that part of the badge doesn't go past the top with the double <clears throat> part. It actually comes in, so we're going to take our virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And because we've deleted those lines, now we can take that black line, nudge it out of the way. Let me get this out of the way. And see how we have these two broken, but they're all together. Go up to object and break the curve apart. Get your virtual segment delete key. And now we just have that line. We have that line right there. This double bar actually goes in to over here. So there's two ways we could do that. One, I've got a line sticking over. We'll get rid of that. We're gonna, we're gonna leave that shape, but we're gonna add a three-point curve line about the same distance we are off there. And we're going to go from about there to there and just kind of curve it up a little bit. And once again, I'm not taking a great deal of time to be perfect. I'm just trying to get him the idea behind the scenario. So far, so good. I'll get these words ready, and then we'll do part three. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching.